we're here at Santa Monica Brewing Company um, starting a new series about craft beer called Cheers to Beer because yeah. we're both big beer fans and uh, we wanted to have a dedicated little series set to that. Um, so like I said, we're here at the Santa Monica Brewing Company today to try out a few things. This is our first time here, so we got a few... Um, I'm excited. What's this called again? A flight. A few flights, yeah. <laughs> Come on, craft beer person. I know. <laughs> brain fart. Anyways, um, so we're going to show you how uh, we got our flights, and then um, we're going to try everything and give you an idea of what we think about um, the place and everything. So um, let's get started. So I, I am a big fan of New England IPA, and so the first one I got was their Head in the Clouds. Uh, New it, they call it a juicy IPA, and so this is a, uh, as you can see, it's really hazy. It's because of the protein content in the uh, brewing process. It makes it taste real, it, it, almost like there's juice inside. It's really good. So it's got a, this is called Head in the Clouds. Head in the Clouds. Juicy IPA. Juicy. So, Oh, yeah. That's it it's got grapefruit. It's got it's got hops. It's everything you want in a uh, in a good New England IPA. Wonderful. Awesome. Let me try it. All right. My turn to try the what? Head in the Clouds IPA. Head in the Clouds IPA. Juicy. It does smell like grapefruit juice. So that's good. I don't know all the technical stuff, so I'm more of a layman when it comes to beer. I'm all about the taste. It's actually really good. I'm not a big IPA person, um, but because it's so fruity, it's kind of yummy. I keep drinking it. Because Chris makes a face at me like, don't drink all my beer. <laughs> all right, on to the next. So I'm going to do my S, since you did your S. And my S is the 310. It's a golden ale, I think. Um, I wrote 310, but I don't remember. I'm, I like gold nails usually, so it smells kind of weird. It's good. It's not the best I've ever had yeah. flavor-wise, but it still tastes good. All right. How about you try it and you tell us more about gold nails? Okay. Okay. So as. I was looking at the cheat sheet on the wall over here. It's a California blonde ale, which is kind of a catch-all for, you know, just whatever's, it, it, it's a good wheat ale. So it smells really crisp and clean. It looks really crisp and clean. It lo almost looks like a lager, how clear it is. Yeah, so. It's really weedy. It's got a, uh, it's got a sweet backbone to it. Um, Little hint of caramel in there, but it's it's good. It's it's just a basic blonde ale. It's uh, nothing great, nothing special, but really solid. I could I could drink that all afternoon and and you know mow the grass with it, whatever you want to do. Yes, absolutely. If it had lemon in it, if if there was a little bit of lemon or a little bit of a citrus taste to it, it'd be absolutely perfect for a beach day. I'm gonna do M, okay. which what is that? it's the inclined IPA. It's one of their core beers. Can you read upside down? 
<laughs> What's that? I was asking uh, the folks at home if they oh. could read upside down. <laughs> you read my chicken scratch. Um, IPAs are my wheelhouse. I, I I can drink them year round, and they're they're very good. So another um, IPA. Huh? What's that? That's another IPA. Yeah, this is the inclined IPA. This is their um, core beer. Okay. It's got a good aroma to it. Yeah, it's just a good, smooth, hoppy. Uh, not a whole lot of malt to it. Not a big malt backbone. It's 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 kind of hop forward. A little bit of bitterness on the back end as you swallow, but it's it's perfect. It's a great. This is another one that I can sit at the beach and drink all day and get hammered. It's good. Is it clear too? Yeah, it's really clear. Whatever they're doing with their ales is is pretty impressive as far as clarity and, and everything. So I like it. All right, find IPA. I don't your know if favorite. I'm gonna like this one. Your favorite. <laughs> Again, I don't like IPAs very much. And the way you described it being bitter, I don't, I'm not sure. But... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> very, very hop forward yeah. and um, and bitter at the end. So, not a fan. Um, I couldn't drink that. I think after I had a few beers, I could probably drink it, but um, to be, I don't know, it's just not my favorite, okay. but I can still tell it's a good IPA, even though I'm not a big IPA fan. I am is Burnt Out Bartender. It's an Imperial Red Ale, and I don't know if you can tell, I might have to show clarity. It's not yeah. like as clear as the other ones but um, I'm a big fan of reds mm -hmm. so I got the red and I'm gonna try it. It barely has a smell but the smell is sweet. Okay. It is not a flavor I was expecting. <laughs> it's good but it tastes like wood so I think it was maybe aged in something that Wood? I don't know. It tastes woody to me. Okay. And kind of... It, did it say that it was infused with some kind of liquor? It's kind of liquor. Woody tasting. It's, it's going to be boozy because it's imperial. Oh, You're so going to get big booze? Imperial means boozy. So yeah, you can taste the booze and maybe that's the wood taste. Yeah, maybe. So yeah. And imperial is going to have a higher alcohol content. You're going to... You're gonna feel it yeah. and taste it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you wanna try? Yeah. yeah. See, the, the smell is really light, right? Yeah, it's a really faint smell. There's a little car caramel there, but nothing, nothing big. That's really good. It really, it, it's got a heavy malt uh, backbone to it. Not a not a big hop characteristic. There's not a lot of bitter to it. It's it's almost like burnt sugar when you swallow. Like if you had um, a uh, like the the crispy part of a creme brulee. That's what it tastes like going down. It's it's like caramelized sugar. It's really good. It's it lets me know that they uh, cooked the uh, wort really really hot. And caramelize some of the sugars within the within the uh, um, first runnings. So what's the woody taste? That's that's that that's, that, that's, the, that's the that's the malt going into the sugar, and it's that that's a damn fine red. It uh, it doesn't have some of the uh, normal caramel characteristics because I think they they did it so hot, but it's it's really fantastic. So we're gonna go to B now. This is the Cloverfield Common, which it's is a, a too, right? what's that? It's a red ale. It's a it's a reddish ale. Um, it, it's um, common beers are um, very indigenous to California, almost like IPAs. They are, um, from what I understand, they use um, they they ferment lager yeast a little hot, so it's almost like a steam beer. So. Um, Oh yeah, that's what I normally expect when I taste a red. This one's kind of that way. It's a little sweet. 
good look good little malt bank bone to it it tastes crisp it tastes clean and it's it's fantastic and it's really clear too if you can yeah, see that yeah 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 it kind of is yeah all right lover feel common the way you described it sounds like i would like it this smells like um do you remember that red you made a while back it smells like that yeah Good. It's better than the Imperial Red, in my opinion. I like it. It's more red. Uh, it's more like a red, and I like red. So. I'm gonna drink all this one. Cheers! <laughs> all right, my B is Ocean Park. I forgot what kind of beer it is, though. Do you remember? Uh, I don't. It's a mystery, but it's clear. It looks really and nice. And it's light. Has no smell really. Now I gotta cleanse my na nasal passage. It barely has a smell, and I can't. It doesn't even really smell like anything. There's a baby. It smell or it tastes like a light beer. It doesn't really have a flavor much, any beer wise. Good. Yeah, I could get in trouble with that. I could just like down it. Down it. It's like water <laughs> to me. So let's see what you think. Okay. <laughs> All right, your turn with yeah. the ocean part. It's okay, a pilsner. So, so we determined it's a pilsner. Yeah. So that's uh, we that's like good. It's a sign. Like you said, really light, really crisp. Can you smell it? Yeah. Does it have a smell? Or is that just me? Yeah, it has a smell. It's just it's just real light. Okay. You really have to get your nose down in it. That's just. That's as crisp a Pilsner as I've ever had, I think. It's very light. Um, you can really taste some Saz hops in there, which is, you know, a nice, refreshing finish to a beer. It's crisp, it's clean, it's really clear. Um, I love it's it. Yummy. Yeah, I could, I could crush that all day. It's almost like a Heineken, but but not not as good. You could drink it quickly. Yeah, he Heineken is not as good as this, and this the, you could you could crush these all day long. Yeah, yeah. smoother than a Heineken. Yeah. All right, on to the last. All the right. W's. And so my last one intrigued me. This is a uh, this is called the PCH. It's a golden milk porter. Now, it if you look milky. if well, it doesn't look like a porter either. If you know anything about a porter, it's a dark dark beer, and so. Um, I've run across a few of these. I, I, I found a, uh, a red stout uh, last Christmas time, so that's that's unique. This is unique in that it's a porter, and it's as clear as my, that red ale that we just had a little while ago. So it's really sweet. You you can smell the malt in this one. You can smell the wheat. It smells really good. So I'm gonna take a little bit. Oh yeah, that's chocolatey. Oh, that's fantastic! It really messes, like your eyes mess with your tongue a little bit. It's uh, it tastes like chocolate milk and, and alcohol. It's fantastic. It's really smoky, really chocolatey. Uh, I I really like that a lot. That's good. Get my hands on that. This is the PCH milk stout, right? Yes. And ooh, it smells so good. Yeah. So I get milk stouts, like the chocolate milk stouts and stuff, a lot. Um, so I'm really a big fan of these. I was on the verge of getting that, but I didn't want to get a double. But it does. It tastes just like Nesquik. <laughs> Sorry, I meant smells. When I said taste, a second ago. It tastes like a milk, like a chocolate milk stout. But it's a porter. Porter, though. Yeah, it's different. It tastes like a stout and a porter, but it doesn't the, look like the one. The porter's going to have more smoke, and you can taste the smoke as you swallow. I guess. Yeah. But it's, it tastes cleaner than the darker porters, though. Yes. And that's, I guess, why it's so clear, because it's got something less in it. I'm not sure, but... That's good. Yeah. Yum, yum. All right. Now, this is the very last beer. Um, I got a pink lady. This is actually a... Um, cider, cider beer. I'm like, what are you recording? <laughs> it's 
So this is a cider beer. It's pink, and that's probably why they call it the Pink Lady. I'm not really big on ciders, um, but I really like Pink Lady apples. <laughs> okay. So that's why I wanted to try it, and I'm not a big, like, and normally ciders are made out of apples, so I thought, well, maybe this is made out of a Pink Lady apple, and I like Pink Lady apples, so I'm going to give it a try and see what's up. Smells like a cider. It, um, it's lighter. It's not as sweet as most ciders, which is good. That's why I like Pink Lady Apples. They're not as sweet as or bitter as some of the others. It does have a, um, I guess it's a malty, weedy, more wheat, I think, finish, um, which I don't, like that kind of killed it, but um, it is refreshing. It would be nice at, at a beach or something not quite as sour or sweet as a normal cider. Um, it's better than most ciders I've had, so okay. why don't you give it a try and tell me what you think. Okay, so it almost, it smells like a light sour almost to me. It's not not like a normal cider, but it's it's got a, yeah, it's, it's a little bit uh, like a sour to me. And it tastes like a sour too. It's a, it's a little bit of a. It's not like a normal. Sour, but it's not super sour. But there's a there's a twinge on the back end. It almost leads me to believe that it's not ale yeast. It may be uh, um, a, a like a sour yeast, which is which What's is good. What's that taste on the end? Is that meat? No, that's that's a that's a sour. No, that's it, that's it the yeast. Like, you know that that weird smell. Or Yeah, that's not. I don't. I don't get any of that. I get. I get cider followed by um, kind of a sour finish. It's really good. I like it. Yeah, really good. Really tasty. I could. I could sit there and crush a whole bottle of it if I needed to. Or, you know, share it with friends. It'd be really good if they stuck this in a bourbon barrel and aged it for about a year. Be, it'd be a really unique take on a, on a cider beer, and I I, th I think this is really good, though. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. The Pink Lady. All right, that's it. You ready yeah. to drink the rest of them? Yeah, I'm going to drink the rest of these things, and uh, so far, this place is fantastic. If you find yourself in Santa Monica, I highly recommend it. They've got about 15,000 square feet of uh, space in here. They've got a bunch of walk-ins. They've got um, they've got kegs to go. They've got growlers to go. They've got uh, crowlers to go. They've got four-pack cans and six-pack cans that you can take with you. They've got a bourbon barrel aging program um, using Buffalo Trace bourbon barrels, um, which I, I I'm a big fan of uh, bourbon barrel aging. So um, it's exciting to me. They've got seems like they've got a really good uh, high capacity brewery here, and it's in Santa Monica, and you can't. Beat the the weather down here, and it's it's just We're a wonderful get day. Tons of beer after this. Yeah. Um, so I mean, you can make a whole day out of it. Absolutely. A little field trip. Yeah. So um, I'll uh, shoot a few more little things around the area so you can get a feel about what the place is like. And um, cheers to beer. Cheers to beer. It's a four pack, four pack. This is all their core beers in one four pack for like 14 bucks. Not too bad. Shout out to Iron City. Take two. Cheers to beer. Cheers to beer. Clink, clink, clink. Try again, try again. Clink. <laughs>